Hi, I'm Channing McCorston, the Container Guy. In this video, I'll be providing installation instructions for the Container Modification World High Security Lockbox. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications. This channel follows us along day to day as we modify containers for our customers and we'll show you the proper way to install accessories on shipping containers. But without further ado, let me show you the quick and easy way to install this lockbox. Before you get started, make sure you at least have a marking pen, a drill with a pilot bit and drill bit, and a 5 8 wrench or socket. When ordering this lockbox, there are two options, the lockbox by itself or the lock and lockbox combo. Included with the lockbox will be two sets of carriage bolts, one for non-insulated containers and one for insulated containers. There will also be the flat washers and nylock nuts, the back washer plates and the lock receiver. It is important to note that the back washer plates double as the marking tool and I'll get to that shortly. So let's get into marking out your container, prepping it for drilling your holes. Uh, lock boxes are typically required for used containers. Most one-time use containers already have lock boxes on them at the factory. Used containers often have this flat bar here on the right door. So we find the best place to install this is anywhere from about 42 inches up to 60 inches high off the, from the bottom of the container there. So uh, anywhere from here to here, the large washer plate will be installed on the right door and the small washer plate will be installed on the left door. First, take your large washer plate and tuck it up tight against the door seal on the right door. Mark the bottom of the washer plate. Then, mark both the holes. Take your washer plate horizontally and level it across to the left door. Use the large washer plate as a ruler to continue that line to the left door. Next, take your small washer plate, line it up with that line you just made, and now mark the two holes. You now have your lockbox marked out where your pilot holes need to be drilled. The next step is to drill your holes. It's a good idea to center punch your holes prior to drilling. We like to use a pilot bit and then come back later with a larger bit or a step bit. A quick tip, this is a hollow rec tube, so you'll be drilling through two layers of steel. From the front side, you can drill through all four of the holes. Don't go through the second layer on both of them. Just choose one and go through the second layer and I'll explain further why that is. So I've drilled through the first layer of the rec tube on the doors. Now choose either the top or bottom and hold your drill nice and level and drill through one of the holes on either door. Now it's a good idea to grab your marking tools and drill the final two holes from there. As you can see, the bottom hole is already drilled. Now I like to grab the back washer plate Line this up perfectly. Make sure that you're nice and uh, plumb with the door and then mark the center of this hole. And then I'll go through that now with the pilot bit. Same thing on the left door, but make sure you're using the small washer plate. Now switch from your pilot bit to your larger bit and finish drilling all the holes. The next step is to grab your carriage bolts, make sure everything fits and lines up properly. For this container, it is a non-insulated 40-foot uh, used container. So for 20s and 40s, the corrugated cans, steel, non-insulated, these are the bolts to use. It's only the uh, reefer vans or 53s, you know, things that are a four-inch thick door. That's what the, uh, the insulated carriage bolts are for. So grab a couple carriage bolts. On the back of the lockbox, there's slots here where you just slide these in, and give them a turn, and they lock in on the diamond shape there. So that's basically your wrench on this side of the box. Now if you hold these two and hold it up to the door, get them to slide in. And then same thing on the receiver side, we just make sure that the carriage bolts go right through the can, then we'll jump on the inside and tighten them up. So the proper order here is the back washer plate, then your two grade eight washers, and then the 7 16 nylock nuts. You'll tighten these up with a 5 8 flat wrench or socket. 
Once you have the lock box bolted on, move to the left door and install the lock receiver. Make sure the receiver and lock box are installed nice and plumb and test your doors and make sure everything clears. Once you're happy with the way that the doors operate, the final step is just to lock up your container. So we like to use the 80 millimeter, three and one eighth shackle lock here. Here's the stainless steel one. One thing to know about these, they typically come four keys with them. Uh, they also come key to like or key different. So if you have multiple containers, you can get the key to like version and have one key to open all your containers, which is really handy. So try this out here. To finish it off, now that you have a security system installed there, 24 hours a day, you might as well put your security systems decal on the container. So that right there is how you properly install a container modification rolled high security lockbox. If you found this video informative, please smash that like button. Subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell. If you have any comments or new product suggestions, please feel free to leave them below or visit us at tcg.ca. Hope you learned something.